My favorite movie of all time is Iron Man, and a huge part of that is Tony Stark. What is it that makes Tony so cool? Why are women so taken with him, and how can you borrow some of his secret sauce starting today? Well, that's what we're gonna cover in today's Team Capital video breakdown. Where are we going? Uh, to town on each other. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Listen, women hate it when guys are easy. They don't want the guy who's always available. They want the guy who's so in demand that his time, his energy, and his attention are hard to come by. We call this flipping the power switch on Team Capital. Now, there are little ways that normal guys fail to be that in-demand guy by signaling over availability to women. One way is with their attention, right? I want you to watch here as the reporter calls Tony's name, yet he doesn't immediately give his attention to her. Everhart, Vanity Fair magazine, can I ask you a couple of questions? She's cute. She's all right. He waits until his guy tells him, yeah, 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 she's cute. Then he gives her some of his attention, but not all of it. As the interaction continues, you'll notice how his sunglasses also stay on. Uh, taking them off would be giving her more attention, wouldn't it? Now, as he's giving her a little bit, but not all of it, notice how he controls the frame. He tells her, all right, go. And when she asks him a serious question, he gives her a playful answer. This is called playfully breaking rapport, and you'll find that all high status guys do it. Let's watch it here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. It's okay? Okay, go. You've been called the Da Vinci of our time. What do you say to that? Absolutely ridiculous, I don't paint. And what do you say to your other nickname, the Merchant of Death? That's not bad. Do you think a girl who looks like her is used to getting her way with men? Of course. And do you think when a woman who's used to always getting her way meets a high status guy who is a challenge and is not easy, well, do you think that guy might capture her attention? Have you ever heard that women love a challenge? In fact, that they want a challenge? Because they do. Now, we're gonna watch how Tony continues to lead the interaction, first with a cold read and non-supplicating behavior. And by the way, a cold read is simply a simple statement where you make a prediction about what kind of person that someone is. So let's watch Tony do it right here. Let me guess, Berkeley? Brown, actually. Well, Ms. Brown, it's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. I guarantee you the day weapons are no longer needed to keep the peace, I'll start making bricks and beams for baby hospitals. You rehearse that much? Every night in front of the mirror before bedtime. I can see that. I'd like to show you firsthand. So the cold read is, let me guess, Berkeley? Could you use a similar style cold read when you meet girls or when you're doing sales? Well, what if you live in San Francisco and you said to a new girl, let me guess, Stanford? Or maybe you wanted to tease her, right? You could say, let me guess, San Francisco Community College? What if you're building rapport in sales, right? What if you said to the prospect, let me guess, hip hop? Or let me guess, electronic music? The best part about cold reads is it doesn't matter if you get them right or wrong. The sheer act of making a cold read signals higher status. And if you're right, well, you look like a G. And if you're wrong, well, now you have an interesting dynamic and she's going to start qualifying herself to you. Now, I also said that he demonstrates non-supplicating behavior. What does that mean? Well, most guys are fucking losers when they interact with women. Ask women, they'll tell you. And how do you be a fucking loser with women? By being supplicating, okay? Supplicating means to beg or plead for something. It's a pauper begging a king for a carrot. We have a rule on Team Capital, it's a very simple rule. Never supplicate. Most guys start supplicating and lying about their identity by changing their opinions and values on stuff just to match with the girl thinking that'll help. Newsflash, this just in, it won't. We want you broadcasting exactly who you are to the world. No fluff, no bullshit, no supplicating, and allowing those who vibe with you to move towards you and those who don't to move away from you. When she says, you rehearse that much, most guys would see her tone of disapproval and start apologizing and supplicating. High status males don't supplicate. Tony Stark 
doesn't supplicate. Instead, he answers her condescending question with more playfulness and indifference. We kind of have a frame battle going on between him and her here, don't we? Watch more as the frame battle continues. All I want is a serious answer. Okay, you're serious. My old man had a philosophy. Peace means having a bigger stick than the other guy. That's a great line coming from the guy selling the sticks. My father helped defeat the Nazis. He worked on the Manhattan Project. A lot of people, including your professors at Brown, would call that being a hero. And a lot of people would also call that war profiteering. Now, as the interaction is nearing its end, I want you to notice that through all of this, Tony Stark is still calm, cool, and collected. On Team Capital, we call it having high status state control. And if you're gonna be dealing with hot women or big deals and influencers in your city, then you are going to need it too to stay cool in high stakes situations. The secret to state control is default setting training, which I talk about in a lot of my past videos and I teach in depth in my best selling audiobook, Higher Status. And on top of Tony's badass state control, you're going to see him take off his sunglasses and use high status eye contact to literally pierce her soul. Doing this sparingly, as in every once in a while, in your interactions with women can go a long way in establishing a spark and connection with her that she simply doesn't get with other guys. A lot of people, including your professors at Brown, would call that being a hero. And a lot of people would also call that war profiteering. Tell me, do you plan to report on the millions we've saved by advancing medical technology or kept from starvation with our IntelliCrops? All those breakthroughs, military funding, honey. You ever lose an hour of sleep your whole life? Be prepared to lose a few with you. We started this video talking about attention, right? And not giving it away so easily. Well, did you notice how it took her a full minute before she earned enough of his attention to take his sunglasses off? People think these little nuances are like only kind of important. I tell them, no, it's way more important than you think. That's why my audiobook, Higher Status, goes so deep and in depth on all of these little nuances. No one else has been trained in this stuff. It's not something that you can get elsewhere. And if you wanna stop losing your game and you're cool with hotter girls and bigger players, then you need to study my best-selling audiobook, Higher Status. Click the link in the description box right below this video to get instant access to it right now. It's $20 on Amazon, but it is free for you to download from my private website. Just help us out with a small hosting fee, okay? Great. So, hey, let's recap this massive thrust of value. Number one, earning your attention. Number two, playfully breaking rapport. Number three, being a challenge. Number four, cold reading. Number five, never supplicate. Number six, high status state control. And number seven, high status eye contact. Well, that's it for today, my man. I am Jason Capital, America's Honest Dating Coach. You are a certified badass, and I'll see you soon for our next breakdown study.